Hello, my name is Isaac, and this is Z Saga. And today we're going to talk about nostalgia. What is nostalgia? Nostalgia is a sentimental longing or wistful affection for the past, typically for a period or place with happy personal association. So, somewhere where you're sentimental to and wish you were at um, and not only at but um, not at as in only locationally but also temporally or in time because there's that typically for a period or place with happy happy personal association so we're talking about a place or time that you remember in the past that made you happy. So, nostalgia. Not too bad of an idea, I guess. But we'll look into it. Because I have something that's nostalgic to me. Um, I used to live in Germany when I was a kid. Um, I talked about it in the last video that I put on this channel. Um, and when I lived there, I was like in first through third grade so like eight through ten or something like that um, and in Germany the um, candy company called Rocher has these toy filled chocolate eggs that we called um, Kinder Eggs and um, these are nostalgic to me. Um, I went to Mexico recently for the first time last year. And when I found out they were there, you know, I bought like all those toys on that ledge behind me. Yeah, those are Kinder Eggs. Uh, so, uh, yeah, they're nostalgic to me. And I thought I'd um, do a little opening of them but not only do I have the original version but because they are illegal in the states because there's a law saying you can't have a non-edible thing inside of an edible thing um, and I'll put a link to a video that I watched that explains that <coughs> so what the company did instead of this, which is an aluminum foil um, surrounding a chocolate egg shell, which inside has a little toy ball holder. So what they did was they made it into this American version called Kinder Joy, which is half um, a little bowl of chocolate and then the other half holds the toy here's an open one so like it opens up and then there's candy in one side and then the toy in this side instead of in the yolk thing um, which means a lot more plastic and I don't know it kind of ruins the whole thing to me um, because I mean yeah I can put that in my mouth but that's pretty big and like hard like you have to pop it open and then it opens up um, whereas if the chocolate's in here then some kids like I really want to get all of it they're gonna like oh. Whole, whole, ah, put the whole thing in their mouth and then get it stuck and this isn't this is kind of sharp so you're going to cut your mouth with this too so not only are you going to choke yourself but you're also going to like cut your mouth if you don't choke yourself so I don't know if it's more safe even but that's just my opinion I'm not the FDA or USDA or whoever decided that so 
without further ado, I will open this up now. Um, one second, let me put the microphone down. Alright. So, back in the day, it was one whole piece around. But now it's two sides. I'm going to try to eat the whole thing at once and show that it's kind of hard to um, choke on it and even get the whole thing like, yeah. So here we go. And it's a puzzle with some like Lion King thing. I don't know. Kind of boring. It's the little lion thing. And like flimsy kind of glossy cardboard. So that's the original. Then we'll open a new American version that's safer. You get like two little Kit Katty ball things on top of white and um, milk chocolate. So it's all right. But I'm not going to eat that either um, in front of y'all because it's not that in interesting. Um, actually, no, I will because. I showed you that it was hard to choke on that other thing, but like, I'll show you that it's easy to cut your mouth on this. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Not only did I cut my mouth on this side when I was pulling the, uh, chocolate with my top teeth but the little ball was like uh, um, a a sandwich with hard 
um, toasted bread from like safe uh, subway where when you take a bite it like cuts the top of your mouth too so I don't know I think I should sue for that versus the uh, original not that it's bad tasting but I don't know I'm pretty stupid and I might kill myself by trying to eat chocolate out of a fake plastic egg with little <laughs> plastic toys so nostalgia <coughs> what it made me think of is like um, it's probably a good thing that these didn't become legal in the states because of the um, the <laughs> addictions they can kind of perpetuate in children not only the sugar and the dairy um, physical addictions um, and not only the addictions to plastic products that we all face in everything that we buy mostly um, but also the gambling aspect um, like like I said that was a Iron Man and it's one of eight different superhero things that you can get so I have two of the Black Panther guys now I have a Wonder Woman and a Captain America as well they're up there <laughs> um, and a Spider-Man so I already have five of them so I just should keep buying these <coughs> and collect all of them and just like all these video games where kids are uh, betting on getting a new digital outfit for their um, first person shooter guy like these are teaching the same thing where um, just keep buying these loot boxes I mean keep buying these candies with toys in them so you can collect them all and then when you collect them all one day just like Beanie Babies which yeah I had like so many of the bears but just like Beanie Babies these toys they'll be like worth millions you know I bought these eggs like both the American and the old versions for like two dollars and fifty cents but I'm sure these toys that are very very fun and very interesting that they're gonna be like worth more than two two dollars and fifty cents give me a break and yeah I'm ruining fun but I mean come on we don't have to be naive anymore nostalgia is cool and all but we should think about the actual costs of these nostalgic things and determine if we want them to continue um, I mean you can look at this with like Santa Claus and Easter Bunny and religion even um, but yeah nostalgia can be good but a lot of times I think we're actually just nostalgic for that um, that naivety and ignorance that we had as a child where we didn't have to think about well I'm sure mom and dad knew where this came from and wouldn't buy like exploitive and unsustainable things but now that we're adults we have to think about that stuff and so I'm not gonna get these for kids anymore like 
I'm not gonna like be like, oh, I remember this, and and yeah, one person not doing it, it's not gonna do everything, but like, it's it's the the thought that matters, the thought that counts. It's it's the principle of it. So think about your nostalgic purchases and um, let's create good nostalgia today for our future selves and um, our future communities alright peace out and love y'all right on